I used to work with used to say, well, duh, all the time to me on the air, which I just loved. I would say something and he would go, well, duh. <laughs> and he didn't know why I found that offensive. <laughs> but I don't do it in that sense. I do it mostly um, to make fun of myself. I think. Maybe I just got to cut it out. On to today's blog post. You can help others while helping yourself. It's true. You can. Focus on serving. That's what we're told in our, uh, in our self-help, in our personal growth space all the time. Focus on serving others. Have you recently lost your job? Are you temporarily out of work and trying to figure out how to bring in some money now? It's time to think outside the box. Sit down with pen and paper. Free write anything and everything that could possibly bring in any money at this point. What do you know how to do better than anyone else? What hobbies or crafts do you do that many people may pay for? There was a time that I decorated wine bottles. I got a bunch of supplies and decorated them and all types of themes, holidays, the shore, home. One of my favorites was a bottle that simply had home spelled out on it. I gave it to somebody as a housewarming gift. It didn't turn out to be the money-making endeavor, I hoped. But, hey, I tried. Gave a couple of those ways gifts, and I saw it on our coffee table one time, so I thought she must have liked it. This is the time to give it a go. Or are you one of the bread-baking obsessed? Maybe you can sell those bad boys. Just a thought. Like I said, think outside the box. There's a restaurant in town here that shut down four weeks ago when the stay-at-home order went into place. They are now offering a hometown market of sorts. Uh, They just came out with a menu. They are taking orders online or by phone for produce, meats, like steak, pork chops, chicken, fish, Eggs, some of their popular items like wings, soup stock, and even toilet paper and paper towels. Now, they're trying to offer another option to those who are too afraid to head into the supermarket. They threw the idea out on social media and had a ton of interest. They are even selling wine and growlers of beer. They are offering a service the community is interested in by shopping while still social distancing And they are bringing money in because they still have bills to pay, especially if they want to open their doors again when this is all over. Is there something that you can do that will help others in this time of need? When you focus on how you can help others, often you will find ways that will also help yourself. Put some real thought into it. What is something you would do for a neighbor in need? Is there something you could do to help more in your entire community, community, focus on serving. The rest will start to come to you as you go. The long journey starts with one step. It's times like these that people can really prosper. If you are still bringing in an income and have a little extra cash, like I was talking about, it's time to explore shopping for some stocks. Most are at historical lows, except Amazon. They are still soaring. And the prices will go up again. So buy what you can at this lower cost, and you can make a lot of money in probably just a few months, but, you know, definitely years when things come back again, because they always do. They always do. Think about it like this. If you can find a way to prosper in this time, How well off will you be when things are good and back to normal? Well, the new normal. Do some research. What can you do to get ahead during this time? If you think about it long enough, explore all the options and study up. I think you will find something worthwhile. This is the time to consider things you have never considered before. This is the time to brainstorm all the great ideas. This is the time to get ahead in any way possible so you can thrive when better times come around, and they will. Do what you can with what you got. Use your brain. That's that lump three feet above your, uh, 
Do you remember that line from A League of Their Own? Do you remember that? That was a pretty funny line. I want you to come out of quarantine better than the person who went into it. And I know you can because I believe in you. And if I can help you bat around some ideas, I would be happy to help. Again, email me, Facebook, Instagram, or at thehopefulest1 at gmail.com. Also, ask me for the link to the free courses from Tony Robbins. Now, let's go have a Wednesday, people. It is hump day, y'all. Give yourself an hour to sit down and brainstorm, maybe a half hour, whatever you can spare. And then go make today your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Allie, you getting a video from me and Tucker today? Me and my podcast partner, we want to be on your home show. Yo.